Welcome back. I'm Ted Thomas. I've been involved in tax lien certificates and tax defaulted property for the past 30 years. This business is filled with people with overblown claims of really what's going on. All right. Most of the people that are making all those claims have not been involved and have no experience with tax lien certificates or tax deeds. The tax deed business is a profitable business. So in this episode, I'm going to answer your question, investing in tax deeds. Now, later on in the episode, I'll give you some examples and show you how my students make money with tax lien certificates and tax defaulted properties. I'm talking about making $25,000, $50,000 on one deal, and I'll show you how to do that before we finish this video. So what is a tax deed? Well, to start out with, it's nothing more than a piece of paper that's transferring property from one entity to another entity. For example, you go to a tax sale and you get a property, the tax deed is going to transfer the property from the county to you. So it's nothing more than a piece of paper that you're going to receive at an auction. All right, nothing unusual about it. It's been around for years. People get a little bit mixed up. All right, now property owners that fail to pay their property taxes, well, they cause a big problem at the county level. What's the big problem they cause? Well, the county needs that tax revenue to run the county business. And I'll talk about that too. But the challenge is, if the people don't pay the tax, what do they do about it? Well, the legislature has passed laws and tells them exactly what has to happen if people don't pay tax. So the county is authorized in all the states to, number one, levy a tax, and then try to collect the tax. And if they can't collect the tax, then what they're allowed to do is they're allowed to seize, that is confiscate the property. And then once they've confiscated the property, they're allowed to sell the property at a public auction. Now they sell it at public auction, they sell it at the lowest price they possibly can. However, it's an auction and the price goes up because the bidders push it up. They start the auctions usually at the back taxes. So they start low, but the bidding can take them up. So the county treasurer has confiscated the property so that when they do sell the property, they're going to sell the property without a mortgage and without a deed of trust loan. All right, these properties have a starting bids of 10 and 20 cents on the dollar. That doesn't mean that they'll sell for 10 and 20 cents on the dollar. I'll be right back with more information. All right, now what is this tax deed? So first of all, today, this episode is all about investing in tax deeds. All right, now the county is trying to get properties off the county default list and onto the honorable tax paying list. How do they do that? Well, they confiscated the property, so now they're going to sell it. They're going to sell it at a tax deed auction. Now, those auctions are advertised not only in the newspaper, but they're also on the county website. So the county doesn't want the property. What they want, they want the property paying taxes, so they're going to try to get it back into the market as quickly as they can do that. So the auction revenue, what happens with that revenue is it pays the taxes when the, the people didn't pay, and that's what pays for the school teachers, the schools, pays the police department, pays the fire department. It also is going to going to pay to fix fix the the roads and whatever. All the county employees get paid from tax property revenue. So if they don't collect the revenue, they're going to confiscate the property and they're going to sell it at auction. So investing in tax liens, those auctions start at 10 and 20 cents on the dollar at the back taxes. However, they don't always sell for 10 and 20 cents on the dollar. All right, now there's over 3,000 counties across the United States and they are all authorized to sell tax defaulted properties. Now those properties are, are defaulted. They just want them off their defaulted list and they want to get them sold as quickly as absolutely possible. All right. So some reason, a lot of investors don't consider where they're going to buy. So there's lots of different markets. So you have to think about that. If you're going to get in the business, all properties don't sell at the same prices. So let's think about that for a second. All right. In Fort Lauderdale, prices are going to be high. Why are they going to be high? Because a lot of people want to live there. There's a lot of high rise building. All right. Compare that with Kalamazoo, Michigan, where there's a lot of single family homes and the properties don't hold the same kind of value. If you don't have a lot of money, you're probably going to have to think about those auctions. If you have plenty of money, you're going to think about Miami. You're going to think about places around New York. You're going to think about Fort Lauderdale. Okay, so there's different markets and the people that get involved in the business, you're not going to get a $300,000 condominium in Fort Lauderdale or Miami for five or 10 cents on the dollar. It's not going to happen. 
Can that happen in Michigan? Yes. So different parts of the country are going to have different information. All right. Now, in Los Angeles, prices are high. So it would not be unusual to see someone buying an auction and spending $70,000 or $100,000 on an upscale property in Los Angeles. Whereas if they go to some other place where the property have low prices in some of the Middle West counties, well, then they're going to have bids of five and ten thousand dollars to get started so the point that i'm trying to make is the location of the property is important so investing in tax deeds is different depending upon the county that you're going to buy in all right now the local county is going to transfer the property to the buyer and they do that usually with a quit claim deed the highest bidder at the auction is going to get the property the county treasurer will clear the mortgage and the deed of trust loan at the auction. So you're buying a property that doesn't have loans on it. It might have other liens, municipal liens or federal liens. So investing in tax deeds has some risk and you need to learn to check the condition of the property and you need to learn to check the county records so you know what's going on with that property. All right, now I'm not an attorney. I'm not a real estate broker. I'm an investor and I teach it from an investor standpoint. All right. I'm not giving legal advice on these videos. I'm just telling you how it is if you're an investor and person that wants to know. So I've been doing this for over 30 years and the people that are just starting, if you're a newcomer, you definitely need to talk to an attorney so you understand the rule. Now, places like California, big surprises happen there. What kind of surprises? I have students that are buying property in California with no mortgages for six and 10 cents on the dollar. Six, eight, seven, 10 cents on the dollar in different counties in Los Angeles, including Los Angeles County, buying for pennies, and the properties come with no mortgage and no deed of trust. So this works in all states in the United States. Now, newcomers should not expect to find a mansion for pennies on the dollar. It's not going to happen. Now, that might work on late night television, but I can tell you in the real world of doing this for 30 years, it's not going to happen. States like Michigan, I see properties going for 2000 5000 7 even $10,000. And then the investor, tax deed buyer, the people that bought at the auction, they might make twenty-five dollars and $50,000 reselling the property. On one property, they might make twenty-five dollars or $50,000. But you're not going to have that where you're going to buy properties that are going to be mansions. These are going to be properties that are slightly used and abused. Some of them are junk and don't buy the junk. And some of them are properties that just need to be cleaned up. So it's all different kinds of properties that you're going to find here. All right. Now, one of the most important skills is the ability to sell the property. All right, now how are you going to sell it? We spend a lot of time teaching people to sell the property. Anybody can buy one. Selling one is going to be very, very important. So how will you sell it? You're going to use Craigslist. You're going to use eBay. You're going to use Facebook Marketplace. You're going to use any electronic site that you can find. You can use Zillow. You can use Trulia. You can use the multiple listings. And you can put signs all over the property. The point is, the people that know how to market are going to be the ones that are going to make money in this business because you have to let the world know that you want to sell it. Now, unfortunately, most sales are taking place because the brokers come in and do it. Now, nothing wrong with the brokers. We want to use them whenever we can. The problem is people don't want to spend time to learn how to sell property. If you learn how to sell the property, you're going to do just fine. The people that make money in this business are the assertive marketer. All right, now I'm running out of time. If you want to learn how to do this, we have plenty of ways for you to learn. But to start out with today, you can go right below me and you can get an auction list, a sample auction list. Just go below me and you'll find a sample auction list and we'll send it to you absolutely free. I'm Ted Thomas.